Hello, this is Crystal. I am working with a sheep's fleece today. Yesterday I picked up five sheep's fleeces um, from these lovely couple in Southern Salem. And this is a mixed breed long wool sheep. Staple looks, looks to be about six inches plus um, on most parts. If you can see, I've already picked out most of the, the bad bits, but this is on my front deck. Sun is horrible. This thing is huge. It's sitting on a queen size sheet. So this was a big sheet. And I'm hoping I can get some of the colors. Um, the red tone is from the soil. So most of that will wash out. Um, some of it is bleached to this brilliant blonde with light and gray undertones on the shorn end. So where it was shorn here, it is this brilliant gray. I'll try to come a little in the shade from the tree. Should help. And throughout it, there's various shades. Oh yeah, that's better. Of the gray with the blonde. There's a lot of veggie matter going on here. Um, looks like straw. Most of that should just flick out. This is a very fluffy fleece as I, it, it doesn't want to hold together as I'm pulling it on it. Um, and a lot of other fleeces will maintain their structure. So um, I will continue to pull this baby apart and oh, there's gonna be a lot of washing to do, but it should turn out gorgeous. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. I sorted through all the fleece, shook it clean, picked out the larger veg vegetable matters that I could. And we have bags full of fiber now and I sorted some of it by the tonals that were in the sheep so here we have some of the um, medium grays and in the buckets the larger grays and that was virtually three um, grocery bags full and then on the table we have another five darks and three lights um, pretty pretty pretties and each bag is equivalent to one wash load so this is going to take a while to wash through and then we'll see how everything looks from there hopefully we can get some of these brown tips out to make it all this beautiful dark gray that would spin up pretty if we can get all that brown out we'll see Thank you much. Bye. Hey, welcome back. This is the third fleece. It's a Jacob's lamb fleece. This is the first year it was shorn. Um, and it has this beautiful, mostly dark blacker tones with the white, very fine microns. And I got three bags out of this one. Hey y'all, this is Crystal. This is the third fleece. This is another mixed breed long wool. The wool does appear to be about six inches in length. It is this killer dark gray color. Let's see if you can see this. Focus on my you know, cool blue gloves here. Um, killer dark gray. The tops, of course, sun bleached. Um, the curls are insane starting to get that dreadlocky look um like a Winsadale Wins yeah Winsadale but does not have a length I'm mean, seriously that's only six inches you can see what I'm touching here um but the dreadlocks are awesome these are more off the side of the animal I think the head was there this is the back that's covered in tons of hay and then the back end is very evident by chunks of back end um, yeah, it should be cool. It'll be pretty when it washes up. Some of it will look chocolatey, chocolatey brown. And a lot of it will look gray, so should blend up lovely. There, get the whole thing. And it is on a queen size bottom sheet that's been cut out. Gives you an idea of what size we're looking at. But yeah, save your old sheets. They come in handy for all sorts of random things. 
Hello. So this is fleece number four. This is a should be white Willamette black face. Um, staple length is somewhere between three and five inches, depending on where you look on the animal. The middle here, middle here, um, is the top of the sheep. The bum going to the sides where it wrapped around. And here, I picked a lot of the goober parts away already. Not a big fan of putting goober parts on film. Um, but there's still a lot of fleece left. And like I said, I'm using the green doo -doo -doo, queen size sheet. And this is what I picked up. I know, grossness. Um, about the size of a small fleece full from the uh, four fleeces I've already um, skirted. So we are going to finish separating this and see how many grocery sacks we can get out of it. Talk with you later. Hi, I'm done um, separating it shaking it, picking out the bits I didn't like, um, any fibers that were shortcuts, or things that were just like way too dirty and there's no way I could get it clean. Um, and I wound up with one real big oversized shopping bag, and this is the the barrel, the pretty much the, the top um, of the sheep. These three really full size uh, shopping bags are the sides and belly, the pieces that were a little bit, a little matted, a little dirty, but if I could pull the locks apart, you know, they weren't really matted, they just looked like it. Um, and I went through and I pulled a lot of them apart so the, the water and the soap can get in there and remove that dirt. And then, doesn't look like much, okay, half, half grocery bag, is that neck ruffle where the, um, it will just look different. So, it was a little dirty, but it just had that different look to it, so I want to wash it up separately and see how it turns out. And that is really lanolin-y. Oh my goodness. Well, this is what Snowflake gave us, and that should be lots of spun yarn. Now I'm just trying to figure out, do I want to dye it before or after I spin it? Or maybe it'll turn out so white I'll want to spin it and keep it white. We will see. Hello. This is sheep number five. It came out of the bag in complete pieces. So there's no way to tell where the head, tail, or sides really are because each piece came out separately and I just laid it out as I went. Because like this matted bit looks like it's a side or the belly. And yeah, there's ooh, a lot of veggie matter right there. Hopefully a lot of this will shake out, but it's a pretty, um, almost black where it was shorn up to a lighter brown where the sun bleached it out. And then there's some parts of it that are more in the gray ranges. And it is all dreadlocky and curly, so super cute. Um, and I haven't done any removal of the yucky bits yet, so it is definitely not skirted. It's a wee bit damp from being in the bag, and we had heavy rains. Like I said before, these uh, sheep were sheer, there's a lot of rain. So I am going to leave it out here, and it's, it's early now, you can hear the birds, um, but the sun, sun, bright sun, um, is heading this direction, and we'll dry this out, and by this evening, I'll be able to work section by section and clean it up that way, shaking off what I can. No one needs to spend wood shavings. That that's not a thing we need to do. And skirting off the 
dirty dungy bits because you know you don't want those bits either um weird thing about the sheep see that white bit some white hair another white bit evidently it was a very dark sheep with like a white spot or two which is kind of intriguing so might just separate that out so it doesn't look like a weird white bits in it so very cool and i'll keep you posted hey i'm back um cleaned up the fleece totally gone um only got four bags out of it it was very matted very dirty it's very sad um but if i couldn't pull the locks apart i don't think i'd have any more luck doing it after they're washed funny thing going through it is the jacob lamb must have been shorn right before this one because i got a lovely handful of nice jacob you can easily tell the difference between the nice fine um microns in the jacob not in this nightlight though um and the other fleece this this long wool is a lot coarser it's a good medium weight as far as the uh wool is concerned so i took care of all four fleeces and they're all ready to be washed i will be back with that video shortly